Hi, I am Ala Chumachenko, PhD in economics, and this is my video, Levels of Economics. Economics is a complex system that consists of three levels. There are microeconomics, macroeconomics, and mesoeconomics. Microeconomics is a part of economics about economic activity of primary subject of economy, such as companies, consumers, capital owners, land owners, and enterprises. The science explains how and why these units make the particular decisions. For example, how enterprises distribute own resources between different purposes. How employees decide where and how long to work. How consumers make a decision of purchase. It is considered that Jean Baptiste Say and Thomas Robert Malthus were founders of microeconomics. It is because of three factors of production theory of Jean Baptiste Say and the law of diminishing returns of Thomas Robert Malthus. Microeconomics examines such selections of economic theory. The theory of commodity, it includes the theory of demand and supply, the theory of production, the theory of cost, the theory of markets, and the theory of product prices in various market situations. The theory of factor pricing. It includes the labor theory, the theory of wage, the theory of rent, and the theory of profit. The theory of economic welfare. It includes criteria of social welfare, maximization of social welfare, determination of welfare optimizing output mix and commodity distribution and resource allocation. The main questions of microeconomics are What should be produced? How much it should be produced? How can one make the best use of given resources while producing goods or services in order to maximize efficiency of production and consumption or to maximize returns for individual. How goods and services can be distributed for maximum well-being. So what is macroeconomics? Macroeconomics, as a part of economics, examines functioning of an economy as a unified wall and provision of stable economic growth, full employment, minimization of inflation and equilibrium of the balance of payments. It uses aggregated indices, gross domestic product, unemployment rates, price indices. It studies interrelations among different sectors of an economy. It helps to understand how the whole economy functions. The main question of macroeconomics is what causes economic growth? In pursuit of solving this question, microeconomists look at causes of business cycles, inflation, employment, and many other aspects of an economy. Macroeconomics examines such selections of economic theory. The theory of income, output, and employment. It includes the theory of consumption function, the theory of investment function, and the theory of business cycles. The theory of prices. It includes the theory of inflation, the theory of deflation, and the theory of reflation. The macroeconomic theory of distribution.
dealing with the relative shares of wages and profits in a total national income. Mesoeconomics is a level of economics between microeconomics and macroeconomics. Mesoeconomics is a new term in economics used to describe the study of economic arrangements, which are based on the importance of under what structures these forces play out and how to measure these effects. Mesoeconomics examines an economy of separated industries, regions and spheres. We also can say that mesoeconomics describes behavior between union of enterprises or organizations. This part of economics is important because it influences the micro and macro indicators. The level of mesoeconomics in economic theory was coined in the 1980s as a bridge between microeconomics and macroeconomics. There are individuals associated with mesoeconomics. Yu Wang, Marcus Mamalakis, Stuart Holland, Kurt Dopfer. The areas claimed to be mesoeconomics are the study of government incentives, the basis of monetary system, The expectation of actors with respect to the entire economic system. Game theory and strategy. Institutional economics. Information theory, nonlinear dynamics, volatility. Distribution of incentives between sectors of an economy and between different groups of economic actors. Thank you for watching my video. Next time I'll describe the main questions of economics. Bye bye!